Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome to Flash in a Pan. And today I'm going to make you something really lovely and I'm excited about it. It is stuffed chicken breast. Look at it. I've got uh, olives, uh, cheese, peppers and turkey rashers and I hope you're going to enjoy it. So join me. Assalamu alaikum everybody and welcome to Flash in a Pan. Today we're going to make some stuffed chicken breast and we're going to need chicken breast in my secret place. There you go, chicken breast. So we're going to get a knife, a nice big knife, take only one of them at a the time, stab it like that, chuck it on the board so i'm going to try and do that right now pressing on it with my hand while i slice not all the way through because i want to open it i don't want to slice through it so i'm going to open it just like that voila now it's very therapeutic you can think of someone that you do not like and you can start beating or you can just like think of someone you don't like and ask God to forgive them. I'm going to start beating. I think this is enough. Once you think that you've had enough beating the chicken breast, and then we're just gonna spread it out like that and we're gonna start stuffing it. So, put it like this. I'm gonna use this messy side. I'm gonna, and I will need the stuffing, which is going to be turkey rashers and cheese. So these are the turkey rashers, nice and lovely. So I'm gonna take some of that and I'm gonna cut it. Slice it just like that. Take another piece maybe. And slice it again. But before that, I think I'm going to season that chicken a little bit, just to give it a bit of flavour. So I need the salt, just to quickly salt it. And I'm going to add a little bit, a little bit of... And I'm going to add a little bit, just a tiny bit, of actually black pepper. And sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. And my favorite is garlic powder. And just sprinkle it around just like that, just quickly, just for a bit of taste. And then we're gonna start putting those lovely cheese pieces. So, gonna start here. Actually, two or more. Well, let's add one. Okay, so I'm gonna put this away like that, and I'm going to take those turkey rashes here and just put them, lay them. Cool, so here we are laying, laying everything out on the chicken breast, but that's not all, because we're going to add a few more interesting ingredients that is going to make it a lot more tastier. And look what I have. Lovely black olives, isn't that just lovely? And I can't eat any of them because my hands have got chicken on them. How evil. That is not cool. I would have absolutely like, probably like chunked half of them in my mouth by now. I'm just gonna cut them and I'm going to add them on top of this filling. So here we are, a bit of olives. I like olives. And also, one more thing. Ta-da! This lovely pepper. We're going to use a little bit of it. Nice, slim, elegantly beautiful. So, just a tiny bit. Not much, just for the flavour. Spread it around, just like that. And you know what? I'm going to add just one last thing. I promise this is the last thing and it's going to be really quick. 
parsley. It just it has to it has to be added because look at it. You cannot have olives and pepper and not add parsley with it. It needs to go in there. There we go, parsley. Just look at it. I mean, you can just look at it like that and that's it and be satisfied. But we're not. We're going to roll it because we have to roll it. And then we're going to be dipping it in eggs, flour and breadcrumbs. And it's going to be yummy. Okay, so here we are rolling it. It's rolled and done. And you're just going to just push everything in. Nice and neat. We're going to get a, an egg and this little nice useful thing. We're going to beat it. Just like that. Just quickly. Like this. Chuck this in our recycling bin and get the flour, which is not here, but here. And add a little bit on this plate. Put some lovely golden breadcrumbs. You can actually get them either, they're called golden breadcrumbs and they are yellow. I think they put turmeric in them to give them that yellow texture or yellow color. So I'm just gonna put it here. But what I'm gonna do, I'm not just gonna leave it like that. I'm going to add a little bit of paprika with my spoon, which is not here. There we go. And I'm gonna add it on the flour. Why? Because I don't like it to be too plain. I like it to have a little bit of extra flavor. So that, and of course, coriander powder. Just like this. A bit of curry powder. That's it. Now, where is the salt? Because of course we have to add the salt too. So just add as much salt as you like. Now it looks like I'm putting a lot, but it's actually not that much. There we go. Because this one's got like really small holes, so it doesn't add much salt. There we go. So I'm gonna mix it up quickly. Nice, just like that. And we're going to dip our rolled chicken breast in this lovely mixture. So there we are, done with that. Next step is putting the fry pan on with oil, not without, because you cannot fry it without the oil, <laughs> obviously. Nice and golden oil. And put it on. And the dish is actually almost done. Take that chicken breast while the oil is heating up. Dip it in the egg without allowing it to open up and get messed up. We don't want that. And then put it back there and put it in the flour. Roll it nicely, cover it all the sides. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to dip it back in again in the, oil, in the um, what do you call it, in the eggs. Because I want those breadcrumbs to stick to it with it. To stick to it. And we'll have plenty of breadcrumbs on it all around. There we go. And the breadcrumbs, a favorite part. Ooh, look at that. Cover it all up because that's what's going to give it that nice crispy texture, right? So it's like the most important bit. Get it all covered up. Nicely done and tucked in. You can always also put, uh, what do you call those, um, toothpicks on the sides to make sure that it doesn't open. We take all of that nice and golden before even frying it. So, and we're going to put it in the frying pan. Dish. Not everyone likes the taste. It does have a bit of sweet taste. 
but it is lovely and I like it, which is why we're making it today. So I'm going to push everything like that to the side, clean up a bit, and I can hear the chicken in the background. Don't want to forget about that. I don't want it to burn. There we are. All right, it's still fine. I'm going to lower the heat a tiny bit because I don't want it to burn before the inside of it is actually cooked. Just like this. And I'm going to cut this and I will bread it just like I breaded the chicken breast. It's hard to chop, but it's, it's actually quite soft when, when you cook it. It cooks much quicker than um, normal potatoes. So I'm chopping it really thin slices. All right, so here we go. And make sure you don't cut your fingers like I've done quite a lot of times. So, I think we need one more egg because this looks a bit too little for me here. So I'm gonna add another egg, beat it quickly, like that. Add the potatoes in there, sweet potatoes, nice and egged, into the flour. We'll cover it well with it, just like that. And then we'll take that, we put it in the breadcrumbs. Let's see how that turns out. Just like this. And make sure we cover it as much as possible. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to heat up a little bit of oil in the frying pan so we can chuck this right in. Put some oil. The oil is not there, the oil is back. There. Okay, put that on, make sure our chicken is fine, I think I need another one to turn this over, this one is more useful, yeah, and look at that, look how lovely and golden it is. I love it. That looks nice. So, now, the sweet potatoes. Here we are, we're gonna chuck them in. Here we are, and wait for it to get done. And make sure that you, you know, turn it over and all that while, while uh, it's frying. Let's just clean up a bit because it looks pretty messy even for me. Ooh, look at that. Let me see. It looks lovely. Look at that. Look at that chicken. Isn't that lovely? I'm happy with it. Gonna turn those as well. Gonna put it up a little bit, just a tad. And then we're probably gonna turn it on the sides as well to make sure that it's properly cooked because the last thing we want is uncooked chicken. That's not tasty. So we're just gonna mix these things. There's sweet potatoes, also orangey. We're gonna have orange food today. Yay, there we go. Wait for it a few minutes, because it's still not 100% done, I can see that. So it takes about five minutes on each side, maybe, before it's fully done. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Sweet potatoes, sweet potatoes. Really nice and orangey. Look at that. Okay, try not to put as, as much oil, well, as little oil as possible. Put that back, get our lovely chicken. Oh, here we go. That's 
our lovely chicken. We're gonna just have to cut it in the middle to show you how it actually looks from the inside and I promise you you're gonna like it. Get a fork, cut it in the middle. And look at that. And look at that. Nice and juicy and lovely. Can you see that? So that's the chicken at the bottom. You can see it's nice and white, so we know it's properly cooked. And that is the turkey rashes there in between, the cheese and the little vegetables there, the pepper, the coriander or parsley. There we go. Put our chicken there. Put our potatoes. Just present it nicely. It makes people want to eat it even more. And we're gonna add some colors to it too. We'll add some vegetables to make it look nice because right now it just looks like deep fried stuff. And we want it to be as healthy as possible. So here we go, put that away. Get some of that. Let's get rid of actually this first bit just here and put some color onto that plate. Some of this lovely pepper. Look at the shapes. Looks like a number eight. Nice. Okay. Some pepper here. Some cherry tomatoes. Right from the vines and they smell so lovely. And of course, some parsley. Like that. So put it like this. And maybe what we could do is add one more cherry tomato. Odd number. I think I'm going to try and cut this to slice it a bit. To, and spread it in the plate very gently not to squash it just like that just for presentation and like this oh my god it's going okay it's actually going okay and like that yay nice look at that lovely i like so here we are we lay them on the plate Oh, and the last one is actually the nicest because, oh, look at that one, look at that one. It's got that pepper, but this one is definitely the nicest. It's got both the pepper and the olive in it. My favorite. Oh my God, just look at that. Let's move this away and enjoy this view properly because I am in love with it. I mean, I don't want to even touch it. I don't want to even eat it. I just want to look at it because it looks so pretty.